Final baseball games at Arlington's Globe Life Park now just a few days away. But if you thought it was too late to get a ticket, you're actually in luck. Jason Allen live in Arlington, and despite all the buildup, final games are not sold out. Uh, no, Doug, except for maybe that last ball game. Team officials today started calling that last game against the Yankees a uh, sellout and expected to release some standing room only tickets. But even today, there were some people who were able to get seats for that last game just by walking up to the window. After a season of goodbyes to Globe Life, with final first pitches and stadium celebrations, the Rangers are making an end of season push to get fans to witness the end of an era. Pack the park and be a part of Rangers history. Advertisements are encouraging people not to let out of town fans fill the final games. The price, though, even for seats up high, uh, 260 for four tickets was causing fans like Mark Croisdale, who was at the first game and now will be at the last, to hesitate. I stopped for a second and thought about it, but then, yeah. Seats that sold for under $10 for some games during the season are 27 when the Red Sox are in town Tuesday and 65 when the Yankees take the field next Friday. But with the stadium nearly filled for the final game, team officials expect the others will start to go quickly. What, what typically happens in our business is once a game goes clean, if you will, then people will start to have those thoughts and say, I, I need to get out there before they close it. So you can't get Sunday. Let's look at Saturday. The team has planned giveaways, autographs, and fireworks before turning out the lights for the final time and turning their attention to the new home right next door. Now nearly 80% done and on schedule for baseball by March. The very few seats left for that final ball game here at the park, which is during the day, are a little bit cheaper, $50, than those last two games that are here next week at night. Live in Arlington tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.